Introducing New Age Sandwich Slices. It sure tastes like cheese. With a lot less cholesterol. So let's do this thing. Oh, welcome to the LARP Book Show. It is episode 63 for the 10th of April, 2018. I'm Stuart Edwards, that's Robert Davis, and oh. the disembodied voice that you'll hear any moment is Thomas Busby. Hello. <laughs> Thomas's camera um. decided to not work tonight. Uh, that's yeah. his excuse. I reckon he's just having a really bad hair day. I always have a bad hair day. Ah. Yeah. yeah, right. In today's... Yeah. I, I so want pictures of that beard at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in it, in it. Right, in today's show, uh, we went to a Twilight Realms game. And 2018 problems in LARPing. So, let's kind of get on and, and do this. Um, Let's turn that in just a little Stop bit. singing. <laughs> right then. So, um, myself, Rob, and Tom went to a Twilight Realms game uh, this weekend that's just gone, in fact. Uh, and uh, we had a blast. Uh, there's no two ways about it. Um, I was there to do lots and lots and lots of filming. And I do mean lots. And lots <laughs> and lots of filming. Uh, just so you know, Rob, uh, the, I've got over 60 gigabytes worth of video. <laughs> it, yep. it took two hours to transfer <laughs> from the little memory stick. Um, well, from the memory card thing onto my computer. That's even before I could even start looking at it. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, that's a, you did shoot a you did shoot a, a ridiculous amount of video with, with your shooting staff. With my shooting with the, with the staff of recording. Um, yeah. <laughs> anybody that, to, yeah, and, that one. yeah, anybody that actually went went to the game will know exactly what we mean. Basically, um, for those of you that are on video, I actually have have the unit here. Um, Excuse the cover that I, I made for it, uh, but it's the Remo Removu. It's a funny name for a company, uh, but Removu K1 4K uh, gimbal camera. Uh, and I had that mounted on a monopod. Uh, so it literally was just a, the staff of recording. Um, and uh, fair play, it worked out quite well. I was, I was, let me just put that over there, just out of the way so I don't drop on the floor. Um, it actually worked out remarkably uh, better than I th thought it would. Uh, so that that was fun. Uh, and I'm, I'm also looking to, with, with another friend of ours and whether or not I can actually uh, incorporate it into a LARP looking staff. So it's even more, you know, an, an obtrusive uh, to players. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so, yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots of footage uh, now. Rob was basically playing um, so sort of the, uh, the the crew, NPCing, monstering, etc. And Tom was a player. Mm. Poor so Tom. yeah, poor Tom. So mm. uh, we'll, we'll 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 get to hear about their their reactions now. Don't forget, as per normal, uh, in the show, if you want to comment on anything or ask any questions. Put them in the comments. Don't forget to give us a you know, nice thumbs up, likes, happy faces, etc. Let us know that you're you're there. Say hi, right? Uh, and you know we'll we'll say hi back. That sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, from my ex my experience, naturally, I was just running around with the players, um, and then I was running around with the monster NPC crew, uh, just try and get two sides of things. Uh, and I must, I, I must say, um, Jamie, Liz, and the crew put on quite a decent game. Uh, I, I enjoyed watching it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, 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 the look on your guys' faces, I know you enjoyed playing it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so tell us, tell us your experiences. 
Yeah, go on, Tom. You can go first. You want me to go first? Okay. Well, yeah. um, I've been going for Twilight Realms for a good few years now, and it is um, it is a lot very close to my heart. It is one that I absolutely adore going to, uh, because the way it's almost like um, a D and D campaign. You know, you 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 have a bit objective go on that objective and you, you try to complete it and and it's a nice small lap i like the small intimate laps yeah, yeah. um and um this one was no no exception it was absolutely phenomenal um everything they put in um what we're doing everything in the twilight realms has a a, a bigger picture it's it, it's a world event you know you yeah. it's called temperus and you're from different continents and there's this like global event that's going on and we're like the adventurers that go out to save the day and we had to um <laughs> get a, a specific item to create a weapon i won't go into details because it won't mean much to you if you don't know the story yeah um but that was, should we say, delayed and halted by in drama by the players. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. it was exhausting um, because what you have in here is you're getting a group of people, um, and we had quite a few new people coming in uh, to the player group that don't know each other have different yeah. moralities have different ideals come from different countries different sensibilities and they kind of all come together and they have to work through that to complete this objective and it it it, it was kind of like a powder keg waiting to explode at that <laughs> point um and it did but that it, and it did yes um and that but that just added to the experience added to the experience um because it's not very fun if all the players get along you know not everyone lovey-dovey and everything like that um <laughs> but overall we, we are all a team i'm not <laughs> yeah yeah there's always one or two that's just like yeah whatever whatever um to the point it actually got so bad to the point where some actually wanted to split from the party and just leave and they did for a while I don't think it was born. They actually did. Yes, they did. They actually left yeah. for a while because right. of the infighting, because of uh, there wasn't a consensus of, of, of an objective. And um, it, it, it was because it was all good role playing. You know, it's very easy for people just to go, oh, yeah, we got a main objective. Let's do it. Let's do it. But that's boring. You know, because you're ignoring your character's wants and needs yeah. and desires. And you don't want that. No. You don't want that at all. So um, eventually they did come back at last minute, thankfully. Um, but the, the experience was incredible, very enjoyable. And it will have some far wide, you know, some consequences for the next event for certain <laughs> characters. One that hopefully will get executed. As in executed as in, or is or as in done? In ex, as in executed. <laughs> as in dead. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> they did something rather naughty. And my character is going to ensure that justice is served. Justice um, is served. Yeah. But, but overall, I cannot recommend it enough. I really can't recommend it enough. Yeah, cool. Rob? How was your time? Uh, the crew wanted to kill the players. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Um, no, can I, can I, Tom's Tom's um, head on a couple of things. Can I just can I just go back a little bit? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, Tom's sort of alluded to there being a bigger story in a world arc going on. So now might be a really nice time. It's going to go into an article on that book anyway. Hmm. To a little bit about how the how the Twilight Realms group got to this point, but I'm not going to talk about about the story arc because that's just too convoluted to get, yeah. get into. We, we'd still be talking tomorrow if I tried that. But TR yeah. Twilight Realms started round about the year 2000 with the idea that there would be a little bit of shared background for a world. Yeah, that all the cultures in that world would share. And there'd be a little bit of shared history that they'd all share. 
But within that world, there'll be a number of cultures, and each culture would be built by, by a player team. Yeah. Okay, so that's why you have a diverse match of cultures. Yeah, so yeah. So each, each country was, was controlled by a player team uh, originally. Now it's all going to a central global ref, but uh, originally. But that's given us, though, that, that, but that original game ran for 10 years and gave us some really well rounded, well developed, distinct cultures, each one with their own problems. And 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 they're, and they're on cool bits as well. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the original ten-year run, a break was taken for a few years because it was just just needed a break. It was it had been run for too long. Yeah. And also, it was kind of getting to the point where it was hard to see where to take it next. And then, in the campaign that Tom had been part of started about three or four years after after the break. We had a break of I can't remember, three, maybe four years, mm. and now we're several years into campaign part two. Okay, but the overall thing was try it well. There's story starting point, players do stuff. Next game is the results of the actions, the consequences of the, of the players' actions on the world. Okay. Plus the plus whatever's going on in the background by all the play, players who are running countries. Yeah. There's always yeah. been a game of consequences and actions, as far as more consequences. That's exactly what happened in this one. They're hitting some really big consequences caused by earlier player foul ups. Right. <laughs> they're not foul ups, they're choices. <laughs> there, there is a uh, difference. Uh, I watched one of the big ones happen. It was a f- almighty. <laughs> <laughs> almighty! <laughs> Which one are you talking about? Because there were quite a few. <laughs> uh, I'm talking the one that turned an unsuspecting person trying to do the right thing into the creator of a thing that 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 is on its way, well, on its way to destroy, to wipe civilization off the planet. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to crew. Uh, first of all, I got to say, crew are brilliant. Uh, but George of the crew this time, as has been for the last couple of years, came from the Reading Role Playing Society, or GARPS, as, as they like to call themselves. Yeah. And they are, but they are a group of university students who are just. Absolutely fantastic. They're great role players, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They are lively, energetic, and they know how to sort of build up a story or build up a character. Uh, they are, I just cannot say enough good things. Yeah, please. If you're in Reading, you're in Reading University, go and talk to Garps. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, exactly. And uh, if you're not, you catch them going anywhere, have a look at these guys. They, they are young and they are superb. Yeah, there's, okay. there's sorry, uh, so, so, sorry, sorry to, to, to in, in, interrupt. Uh, just, just for the video, guys. There's a small brown bear here that is vying for my attention. Oh. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> He's such a posing git. It's unreal. <laughs> yes, yes, you're beautiful. Now, come on, go away. <laughs> Get. Stay. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. Yeah, that dog is awful. You do realize that our hits have just gone up, but he should now be the mascot of, of uh, <laughs> the mascot, eh? God. Yeah. yeah. Except he eat all the food. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally just having to control him, by just constantly stroke him so he doesn't <laughs> try to climb up in my lap. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But 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 I think Tom mentioned the crew did a lot of work. The crew did the setup, so setups and um, um, set changes for all the rooms. Yeah, yeah. Um, a number of us got distinct characters to play. There are numbers fairly of monsters to play or fairly generic hordes, hordes, hordes to play. Yeah, and and, and also one of my favourite moments came when a a Roman a Roman style patrol in full. Uh, what are we talking in a full shield wall? There's a disciplined <laughs> shield wall. He's marching right at us. Yeah. I went, oh no. Yeah, that's quite intimidating. Yeah. I've been on the wrong end of one of those shield walls. It can be very intimidating. <laughs> yeah, the, you, know, you know, there's there's a whole part of you that, that just goes, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah. but I yeah. loved it. I I got to play monsters. I was I got to play a puritanical raging priest. Uh, I got I got to play a harem girl. It was awesome. Oh, the harem girl was beautiful. Oh, and I've got the pictures. 
I've got the pictures. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I pay for therapy. I thought I died and went to heaven. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I I must be honest. There, 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 there has to be a small shout out to Ambrose. Um, oh yeah. Who who did look <laughs> too good uh, as a harem girl? Um, <laughs> fair play. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, they, shout out to him. Him definitely. That's it. But um, one of the one of the big benefits of the Twilight Realms lab mm-hmm. is that although you're monstering, they the refs and everyone around you actively encourages you to just just feel the cow, just go with it. Do what yeah. you want, what you feel. I mean, obviously, there's something, there's an objective, and they and they don't want you to deviate from that. But if you want to give that character life, if you want to give it a personality, you, uh, you know, um, a job or anything, they they actively encourage encourage you to do that. Oh, we yeah, visited yeah. an inn, and they had a fisherman. They had, um, I think it was an interior. What was it? A, <laughs> not an interior decorator. No, what was this? No. Um, his his job was to be a set of curtains. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> from dung, from yeah. dung. Uh, Maybe had the dung shovel, the the, the 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 set of curtains, a silk salesman, a barman. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the proverbial drunk in the corner. Yeah, and, and Actually, the, the only thing I want to take a hat of Liz, who runs, who briefs the crew at Twilight Realms, goes out of her way over and over again to say, please, 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 you know. You've got the bare bones here, but add some life and some personality yeah. into depth to these characters and really Yeah, yeah, add some flesh to it. Do what it, yeah. you like. You cannot hurt the game if you if you get role playing to happen. In fact that's the rule to try out realms is that you cannot hurt the game if you role play right. That's it. That's and it. it. Yeah, that's indeed. Great. Indeed. <laughs> and from a player's point of view, it just makes the world feel so much more alive. You know, every encounter's different, every yeah. encounter's got personality. Um, and you do feel like that you are killing people. Well, yeah, that's right. You know, it, 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 that's how it, that's how it looked to me as well. There, there seems to be, you know, a definite angst about, mm-hmm. you know, uh, certainly when you came, when the, that, that village scene there yeah. that mm-hmm. was being, um, enthralled by a vampire, um, yeah. that you wanted to take the villagers away and save them. But mm. unfortunately, in the end, you had to kill them all. And, you know, you <laughs> you agonized quite, you know, I, I noticed the players agonizing quite a bit about it. It was like, uh, you know, well, some of them, but literally first, <laughs> some of them, some of the players that went up basically said, well, we'll set this, the tavern on fire and then everyone will run out and the vampire will have no choice but to leave them and then we'll job him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, no, it, 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 it's a strategy. Yeah. It's a strategy that causes a building to be set on fire. I just love instantly they just go set the building on fire. That that's a that's a normal thing to do. Well, set that's, the building. That's, actually, that's one way to dry say, everyone out. That's one way of getting everybody out. Yeah, it's perfectly valid. <laughs> <laughs> if not such slightly extreme. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, actually, I think be it. Yeah, and it's awful. Actually, I mean, setting a tavern on fire. What are people going to do for booze? Yeah. What a waste. I know, exactly. What a waste. Exactly. Um, I think this should be as well, actually, um, another shout out for, 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 for Kelly. Uh, yeah. Who, who, did, yes. who did all the food, all the catering um, for the event. And also, when we get the pictures and other videos up on the site, uh, did actually made all of the harem costumes yes. that our lovely... Uh, We'll use ladies uh, in in mm. in quotes. Um, <laughs> we're, we're wearing. Um, what actually? Actually, I'm going to just quickly add in one little thing. First of all, I want to say thank you to Kerry mm-hmm. for my costume and for the food. Mm. I just want to add in there was a beautiful moment in the hiring team when one person opened the door to the hiring, poked their head in, looked around, gasped, shook their head quickly, and ran away. For, uh, ran away. <laughs> There were Who definitely there were definitely a few okay uh, <laughs> moments, you know. Um, I perhaps should add, and make was one of my lights, excuse me, everybody, that the Harvim had a grand total of zero female members. No, no, there was one. Oh no, there, there was, was one. There was yes. one. There was one. <laughs> yes, there was one. <laughs> there was one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hidden the... amongst all the burly other shapes. Yeah. Oh, no, they all looked female to me. Because all of the ladies that were supposed to be in, they were off fighting other, other things. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah. we, we need bodies. Yeah. Let's just grab the blokes. Let me the to you. Yeah. Okay, one of the vets goes in the crew room. I need a load of people to put to put on these Mad Max X masks on and hurt the players. And yeah. they did. And they, and they quickly got a volunteers because it was just for all the girls. Yeah. Go, Fair enough. And then followed by, oh, yeah, and everybody who's left, you're the harem girls. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and much hilarity continued from there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fair play. Um, so, yeah, it did. It was an interesting game. I mean, even from my point of view uh, of just watching everything, uh, it, it was it was very well put together. So, again, you know. Oh, Rob, can you remember what the company was called that Kelly Hauser does the um, yeah, harems? That's, that's Wonderlust. 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 Or Wonder? Wonder. As in, as in a fish called? Um, wonder as in going for a long walk. Oh, Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> So I went out. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I know. Okay, one wander oh, as in wandering that. around. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. We'll 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 have that up somewhere. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll try and find that. Or we'll put that up into the show notes to get to, to give Kelly Kelly a link yeah. and, a, and a shout out for that because she was awesome all weekend the food was stunning um even though vegetarian boy here was a last minute addition and she even managed to pull a a lot out for me as well (laughs) but there we go um right so i think that's unless there's anything else you want to add about the tr event uh no i'll just add that we are going in the next few days going to be putting up a big article we're just waiting for some photos to finish off yeah and a few things just to get coming to line. I know Stu's done a good job in getting a lot of video together. Yeah, very um, quick. I've, got, I've got some more information coming in off the Twilight World group themselves, and I've just got to finish off a few photos and some uh, notes, and that'll be up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so let's let's move on a little bit then uh, about what I sort of uh, hinted at the top of the show, which was 2018 problems uh, in LARPing. Um, and what this is about is uh, Rob, Rob and I were discussing, we've noticed in not just Twilight Realms, but in a lot of different LARPs, um, modern uh, sensibilities uh, creeping into uh, uh, um, situations. Um, for instance, let me give you a, a for instance, and we would like to hear your comments on this all right mm-hmm. so if, you, if you're in facebook and what have you and you want to chuck a comment in or a little question about it please do yeah um that in fantasy worlds in medieval style lands etc if a guard or a knight saw someone killing someone or doing something that was incredibly reprehensible Right, they would have taken action there and then. Yeah. If someone had just murdered someone, they'd have probably been, you know, judge, jury, executioner and sorted them out there and then. Somebody was stealing something, they'd probably have their hands chopped off, etc. Whatever. But, you know, we are really noticing um, people kind of saying, oh, no, 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 they should definitely have a fair trial uh, and things like this. And we're just wondering whether or not, you know, Rob and I are just seeing the world differently <laughs> um, to everybody else or, or whether or not this is something that other people have, uh, have noticed as well. So discuss. <laughs> okay. I was talking to Tom, Stu and I were chatting about a few things, sort of doing breaks, not in play, because there were no breaks in play on that event for the players anyway, but it, for the crew, we had a little bit of downtime because we had to, we had needed time to sort of recover and change character, reset, we um change costume and so on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Tom, but, you, know, you were with the players. Do you think they were exhibiting the morals of? And I'll, I'll give you a list of the cultures of, of approximations of the cultures present. Okay. We have pre-dark ages Celts, uh, a Roman em- Empire equivalent. Yeah. An Arabian culture that's probably 
sort of pre-Islam. Yeah, I'd say that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, uh, another culture that's set up to be a home for crooks, thieves, and con men. Yeah. And I think those were, the rep- those were all the represent. Oh, and a barbarian culture roughly put along the lines of the Goths in, say, again, Dark Age or pre-Dark Age Europe. Yeah. 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 You okay. missed one other culture, though. Which one was that? That's my culture. Oh, the no, med- yeah. The medieval um, England, France. That's right. Yeah. Sort of the hundred, the hundred Years War England, France culture? Yeah. 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 That's it. Sorry. Yes, you're quite right. Okay. Now, here's the question, Tom. From that point of view, do you think we saw opinions that would match those cultures? Um, somewhat, yes. I mean, a lot of people... I mean, you could say culture, and that's fine, but you've also got to take in consideration that these are individuals as well, so they don't always have to follow the culture that they, their country or kingdom or whatever is based off. It's just like an influence point. Um, yeah. Um, I felt that at the event, this one in particular, there was a mixture of kill the person now, um, leave that, we'll sort it out later. <laughs> We've got <laughs> more pressing issues to deal okay. with. Or, um, like, we will have a trial. Now, in regards to um, myself, um, I was more along the lines of uh, a, play- a player character did something very, very bad, and I would have been well in my rights to basically have killed him yeah, on the yeah. spot. However, my, it wasn't a modern-day sensibility coming in. This is what I firmly believe my character would have done. He yeah. wanted By the to way, try we're, it. we're not talking about your character. In, in no, 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 no. Yeah, I understand. Please go from your experience. That's yeah, important. Yeah. I, yeah. So from my experience, um, I was going from that. And I think a lot of people, in given moral deci- morality decisions just like that, would go with their gut instinct, which would be their instinct, maybe not their character's instinct. Yeah. You know, I think they have to be very aware of what they're doing and, and, and that this is their character thinking it, not them themselves, which is quite hard to do sometimes, particularly yeah. in the moment. Yeah. Um, just want to Jack there, um, James uh, James has popped on. He's, he seems to, be, to have hijacked... Um, uh, Ellie's account. Uh, he said that he's he's <laughs> he's noticed that as well. Um, definitely, the the, the sheer fact yeah. of you know that, that's the sort of thing that, that, that that's happening. Uh, big hello to uh, to to Debs. Hi Debs, how are you? <laughs> Hi Debs. Yeah, but you are got you are right. It is something that does happen. Yeah, you know I've seen it a, a few times, and it does happen. Um, now, is this is this purely because of how we are? Let's use the word conditioned, uh, conditioned uh, today to think that everybody should get a fair trial and and you know uh, innocent until proven guilty. You know, it doesn't Probably. matter. Did you just see them chop someone's head off or something? I think partly, yeah. I mean, it's ingrained in you. It's 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 all around you in society. You you live in it every single day. I'm not so okay. sure. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I, 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 and, I, and I'll give you a reason why, Tom. It's because I'm because I'm an old geezer. Okay. <laughs> Maybe okay. it's just us youngins. No, yeah, yeah. It, it us youngins. It, genera- it might be a generational thing. Come to think of it, because I I distinctly remember, okay, the differences in how our attitude to people and how we interact with them have changed from between the 1970s and now. Yeah, the 1970s was incredibly more open, in many ways freer than we are now, but also a lot more corrupt and a lot nastier. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also in many ways, because for example, back then, if you wanted to say something, you could say it without fear of, oh, you might offend somebody. Or even if you did, right, you'd only offend that one person. Oh, if you, oh, if you said something offensive deliberately, you'd offend the person or the people you were targeting, and everybody else would go, yeah, okay, he's done what he needed to do, that's fine, let's move on. 
and there'll be no, and there'll be no takedown for using an offensive word, say. Yeah. So you think political correctness is partly responsible for I, yeah, that. a lot of it? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I I'm not, political correctness is one word for it, and it's one and it's one definite thing going on. But I would say definitely that the, the 2018 attitude is very different from those 30, 40 years ago. Oh yeah, massively so. I'm, but, I'm, I'm, I mean, some and I, and I, some ways for I, the I, better, some ways yeah. for the for, for worse. And I do and I do wonder if sometimes it's because of not uh, the attitude of having to suggest that things should be fair and equal. Of having to have a kind of a guaranteed diversity, of having to look after the underdog, mm. that's ingrained in the society that is causing it rather than anything else. And Tom, rebuttal? <laughs> Go on, Tom! I mean, I mean, possibly, I guess. <laughs> but it is like, but like you, but cult society and culture has changed from that time. And as society changes with for example we are more aware of um political correctness and and and, and stuff and, and people getting offended and all it, it's only natural for that to let go into things that you do yeah. because like i said like i said it it's all around us so therefore it's going to change you because you are part of society so therefore it is going to be part of you know because it is you doing the larp you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I, oh yeah, I agree with that, Tom. Every lap I do, there's a common thread to how I play things, not how hard I try to be something else. Yeah, I, I, I think I, we're all bring ourselves into it. That's, that's that's absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. I just I just think it's the evolution of society and just how it's changed. Mm. Personally, I, I that's all I think it is. Um, I personally think the world is a much better place than it was in the seventies. I think society is a lot better than it was but this could be just me being young and you know like oh, my generation's better yeah. than <laughs> fine but yes. actually, I'd, like to see, I'd like to see more of that I, I find myself not being offended in those by current teenagers <laughs> <laughs> and we want to be offended god damn it I'm, I'm we, expecting this where's we, my offence <laughs> we want to rail against your stupid music and your stupid clothes yeah, can I mean, we? Oh, difference. There obviously is a difference. We're having a laugh and directly yeah. insulting someone. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. There yeah. is a big difference there. There is. Yeah. You know, we we can't really rail against your music because you keep, you know, you know, your your modern day artists just keep copying the stuff that we used to listen to. So I mean, this. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not one for modern day music, no, to be honest. No, so. you're not, you're no, not, no, 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 no. But it, it happens a lot, though. It's like, okay, please, please, do something. I want that's going to. I, I, when I get to this age, I was expecting to be offended by teenagers, not looking at them going, go on, try harder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what you could possibly do, which would be quite interesting, is perhaps at a bigger LARP, um, have a look at the older generations and the younger ones and see yeah. what differences there are. You know, really have a look and see what differences in decisions, in choices that they in make, how they act within in character. It might be an interesting to see, you know, like the difference between the two age groups. Hmm. Yeah, just in I case like it like is kind of a generational thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, or it, maybe that perhaps I'm, just laughing has changed. I mean, it could be. I mean, when you know, certainly when we talk to Kez, that's, that's you know. Around about our age, or perhaps a bit older. Um, He's definitely a bit older. <laughs> you know, he he is more of an eye. You know, the the uh, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. If someone you know does you wrong, slot them. Um, so, <laughs> not not give them a fair trial and a you know innocent till proven guilty. None of that r r <laughs> rubbish in that respect. But yeah, it is. It we just find it interesting. And we all, we also find it interesting when any of us have ever played, you know, really evil characters. Which I've got to admit, I love doing. Yeah, in the sheer fact that we have to be almost a little bit careful about who who we are evil with, uh, because we have had people in the in the past be, become quite offended uh, by what we've said or or, or done. Uh, but those people that know us know we're lovely people, really. But our characters are git, yeah. um, so we play a git, you know. Yeah. So it's an interesting one. 
you, do you want to have a quick look at uh, what Debs has said on the comments? Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, um, I, and I'm also trying to fend, I'm still trying to fend off uh, when I say a small puppy, not so small puppy. Um, not a puppy, that's a bear. I know, yeah, he's still trying to fend, it, fend him off for you. Um, so, uh, Debs said, um, Acadia is not PC. We have a trial coming up on game, and we are the first LARP to have in game cards against Arcadia. For Tavern Night Games, which includes oh, player-inspired yeah. cards. I love that idea. Well, well done, Debs and Arcadia for not being politically correct. I think I want, I think I want to play cards against Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound rather good, doesn't it? Fair play. Yeah. And, what, and, so, and literally, what, what a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so, Tom, have you, mm-hmm. have you come across to the dark side now, or...? or? Uh, I don't think I ever left it. To be honest, <laughs> we have I mean, we do have the best cookies. Yeah, all those <laughs> lovely cookies. Um, no, I mean, I can always, in regards to LARPing, I, I I can always like separate my personal self to my LARP character. And every, anyone that does anything in a LARP scenario, I take it only as that. And I think that's a very important thing that people should do. Some people can do it better than others. And I guess that's the only thing you've got to be semi-careful of, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Some people who will take it personally when they shouldn't. I think... Uh, Compart- you know, yeah. yeah. Compartmentalization. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. I, 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 myself, I, I have no problem with it. Yeah, I, I'd go with that. I'd go with whatever's said in the LARP stays in a LARP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I can be, I can be evil. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just write that down. That's my T-shirt. What's the, yeah, you. Um, huh? uh, it's it's on video. That's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> it looks like Loop uh, Loop Luke has uh, has actually pop, popped in as well. Uh, hello from Egypt. Hello, hello Luke hey, and family. Hello. I hope you're having a lovely time. The photos and and whatever that you put up look like you're having a blast. Stop yeah. biting Luke, my Luke, hand. Luke is currently on holiday in Egypt. We were, we were running a little book here on how long until his son steals a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> it would be more easy that would do that, to be honest with you. He's making more evil, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but there you go. Um, okay, right. So we'll leave that there. You know, if you if you have any comments about, you know, what we've been talking about, then do leave them in, in the chat and what have you, you know, or, or, or somehow. And I want to continue this discussion a, li- a, a little bit, you know, um, afterwards as well, because I think it's interesting how how people view things, to be honest with you. Um, so um, let's move on then, because we've got a few sort of um, LARPing events that are coming up. Now, one of them, that in fact, Luke is uh, helping to uh, to sort out and run. Uh, which is a, a pirate festival, uh, Brotherhood of the Black. Uh, it's on the 10th to the 12th of January, February, March, April, May, June. Uh, is that August? No. January, it's August. February, August. It's August. It's August. Yeah. Ten, August. 10th to the 12th of August uh, this year, obviously. It's at Lanfaich Lan- Vau, which obviously is in Wales for anybody who haven't uh, sussed that out. Uh, <laughs> which guess? Which is actually not too far from Nelson. Uh, I think it's actually in Nelson, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, it's basically a, a, a beautiful 16th century manor. It's also quite haunted. Uh, they actually do um, haunted walks uh, around there as well. Uh, certainly at Halloween time. Um, <clears throat> there is camping, but you must, must contact them first. And that is over at uh, Brotherhood of the Black. Uh, we'll put that link up in the show notes at the end so people can go and find it. Um, and we've also got uh, an event, uh, which is the August Bank Holiday, which is the 23rd to the 27th of August, which is Balrog Gaming. That is at Barnswood Scout Camp. Uh, what part of the country is that? Again, I can it's, never it's remember. It's the Midlands. Yeah, it's near, Midlands. So it's it's near uh, Stoke-on-Trent, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's it's kind of north from where we are. Yeah, it's kind of north. But yeah. not as north, but not as north as Scotland. No. Yeah, not, yeah. It's yeah, like in the middle. Not quite <laughs> that far. Um, it's a hundred pound to play or monster, and there is bunks and camping. Uh, so if you search out Balrog Gaming, I'm sure we can put up a, a link as well uh, in the show notes about that. 
Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice little LARP, and it's a fantastic in- introduction as well to to, it to LARPing. Is. It yeah. is the actual LARP that got me into LARPing. It was my gateway LARP. <laughs> <laughs> the gateway LARP, was. Yeah. and I will be there too. Gateway LARP, yep. Yeah. I hope that doesn't put people off. <laughs> no, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, like I said, if there's any any questions anybody got in in the chat, I'm still sorry if if you just see me bobbing around, I'm still literally fending off a small bear that is our puppy who has now decided that chewing my hand would be a better idea get off <laughs> oh deb's got a lap there we go um arcadia lap is on the august bank holiday as well um in exeter uh deb's if you can get us the details across for that we'll check that up as well um up in the show notes or up on the yep. uh facebook site <laughs> That August Bank holiday must be the busiest <sighs> time for every everyone's LARPing, isn't it? I've, I'm sure the Queen's even LARPing. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 one yeah. is most definitely LARPing. Yeah. Yes, you are absolutely right. Ambrose uh, Balrog Gaming is the same location as Curious Pastimes Event Two. Uh, yeah, it is the the exact same place, mate. Uh, yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and what have you. And by the way, if you hadn't uh, heard yourself being mentioned earlier on, mate, uh, we, we we have given you a bit of a mention. <laughs> oh, this... Oh, sorry, folks. Hi, Deb. Thank, Attention thank, star. Thank you for the leak. Oh, nice looking website. I have looked at this before, and here's a still a nice looking website. Anyway, I'm putting that into the show notes now for you. Sorry, just, just, just give me a second. I can't. Well, well, Stuart is eaten by a small bear. I mean, a spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I shall I show the spaniel again? Because you yeah. know, he's, he's, Yay! You know, there he is. He's only about six months old. Bless him, and <laughs> and he's such a poser. He's like, look, I'm on camera. I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I know it's Luke. By the way, uh, we sussed that one out, but because you're the only one in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Deb likes him. All right. Okay. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, he is cute, uh, Debs, and he bloody well knows it. <laughs> yes, looking at you. Right. <laughs> so let's get back to this quick then. Um, bum, 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 and the other things. So, yeah, August Bank Holiday is just a wash with LARPs, right? As simple as that. If, if you want to make a killing at running your own LARP, run it, run it not in an August oh, bank holiday. Bank holiday. All right. I'm busy. <laughs> Actually, I'm just thinking, Stu, now we're talking about dates. Yeah. Um, so we have a... We, we, we are ready... Pla- we, we, our calendar is filling up for laps this year. I'm yes. just wondering what we prefer to tell you on some of the things we're hoping to do. Okay. You you do that while I just... <laughs> end away. Okay. Day. Right. So, end of um, uh, April? Is it end of April? Yeah. Beginning of... No, no. Beginning of May... There's Curious Pastimes events one. We're hoping to have, have at least one of us there. Yeah. Uh, maybe two. Okay. And then also that, and also around about that time, oh, one time we would, that's at the end of May. Okay, get in. We're also going to a Forest Argent's annual main major event, which is at the end of May as well. That's Convergence in Huntley Wood. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm, in June, we are aiming to go to Colony Wars uh, for their second event. Colony well, Wars? No, third Wars, actually. Third, yeah, Colony yeah. Wars. Yeah. Colony Wars, yeah. Colony Marines versus Planet of the Apes. As you do. Just looking forward to that. Okay. Looking forward into July, we're going to Green Cloak's uh, event three. Uh, Ian List will be in touch for more details on that for you. Yeah. And then going forward, as I flip through the calendar, completely... Uh, and, and also we have in oh come on come on there you go beginning of August we've got we've got a po- underground post apocalyptic eighties madness game coming up yeah that's with Gideon Lawrence um, now we have a little of a battle going on at, uh, at mid August because we did a Green Cloaks event and also also the Pirate Festival we just mentioned happening yeah. And I'm, at the end of what I'm going to the pirate festival, by the way. Yeah, that's cool. Um, uh, end of August, August Bank Holiday. Stu and I are off to Cures Pastimes Event Four, probably with Luke as well. Yes, hopefully. Fingers yep. crossed. Um, 
I'm currently negotiating tickets in November for myself for fair we- for the end of November run for Fairweather Manor. Yeah. I was supposed to be going to an early run. That hasn't quite worked out, so just seeing if we can re- because that's not definitely yet then. But soon as yeah. I get okay from from the Vikings we're in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there we go. As you can see our our calendar is filling up. We're um, bloody busy. We are bloody busy. <laughs> <laughs> you? I didn't realise how much it was until now. Mate, seriously, yeah. <laughs> seriously. So if you want us at your LARP to cover it and what have you, um, That's no soon. get in touch, contact us at LARPbook.com um, or, of course, via, via Facebook Messenger or something like that because, um, yeah, we, we're getting busy. <laughs> and by uh, the way, yeah. we do all of this out of our own pocket. I just let you know, which is a fantastic place for me to plug the Patreon. Uh, so, if you want to help us out, going to all these LARPs and, and what have you, to pay for a bit of fuel and, and all that that malarkey, then pop across to patreon.com forward slash LARP book. And, you know, just a dollar a month, yeah, helps us out massively. Um, if you can pay more, please pay more, because it does help us. Everything comes out of our own pockets. We have no sponsors. If you want to sponsor us, also get in touch. Contact us at lapbook.com. <laughs> we, we will be sponsored by anything and we will shamelessly put it on the show and at LARP events. Yes, not a problem. Oh, oh and we're also discussing, by the way, we're, we're hoping to spend some time at LARP in new warehouse. He's just moved into a brand new warehouse and he yeah. said, yes, please come along and we'll invite yeah. the fools. Yes, the fools. <laughs> and, I really hope, and I'm really hoping to support the new um, LARP shop that Gideon's opening in the centre of Exeter uh, when, that, when, that, when all the legal stuff goes through on that as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, we're busy. We are busy. Um, right, so I think that's probably about it, guys, isn't it? That's uh, actually, uh, yeah, we're coming uh, yeah. in. I, I believe so. I think we've that's... probably talked, you know, <laughs> enough now, enough. And, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> etc. So, uh, I'd, like to say, I'd like to say a big thank you to all our lovely patrons at the moment uh, who make it a bit easier to keep this show going. Uh, if you'd like to get in contact with the show, just email contact us at com. Is there a topic you would like us to discuss or saw something cool? Then, or just fancy writing an article for the website, then email the show. Contact us at laughbook.com. Have <laughs> some ow, ow, stop biting my hand. <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> um, music that we use in the show was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Uh, as I said, go across the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash laughbook and help us out. We do have a shop for all the lovely swag, uh, and that's actually up on Facebook. Uh, so if you go to facebook.com forward slash lap book forward slash shop, um, then you can definitely sort of find this. Get off me <laughs> there. So. I will ask you before you run us right out, I just want to remind everybody we also have a second website now. Oh, yeah. Which is uh, lapbookmedia.com, which is where we are uh, rearranging and categorizing, helping it make it easier for you to plow through the, all the old shows. I think the dog knows that I'm wrapping up. He's just wandered off. The gift. <laughs> He's been pestering through at me the entire bloody show. Now the show's ending. He's like, right, work here's done. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the Whoa, git. Okay, uh, Deb has just invited us to Arcadia. Deb, okay. we'll talk about this. That sounds great. Yes, we will definitely talk about this. Thank you very much. And now we have it in writing. <laughs> we can't <take> now. <laughs> so you can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Twitch. Just search for LARP Book. Right, you, you'll find us. It's as simple as that. Uh, we also have an Instagram account as well, which is the LARP Book. Uh, so you can find lots of things up on there. We have obviously got the website, um, larpbook.com. We got larpbookmedia.com. That's where, well, guess where you'll find there all the media. Um, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Literally, just search for larpbook and you will find us. Uh, don't forget, uh, give us a five star review or a review on whatever you use to actually listen to the podcast, whether it's in Facebook or YouTube, etc. Because that does actually help out the show quite a bit when people engage. Uh, so this has been me, Stuart Edwards. That's been Robert Davis. 
Bye. And the disembodied voice has been Thomas Busby. Bye-bye. <laughs> so have fun, everybody. Bye-bye.